Hey everyone, Richard here. And I got a small haul, so let's get into this. All right, so almost a week and a half ago now, uh, Harley's Toys and Comics did a little mini show, if you will. Uh, they do these shows fairly frequently, but unfortunately they're about a 45 minute drive for me, so I don't go to a ton of them, but every now and then I decided to take the, uh, the drive out there and, and check them out. And I did all right this time. I picked up a just a, a small stack of books. I paid fifty dollars for everything, um, so I'll let you be the judge whether or not that was a good deal or not. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and just show it. These came from two different vendors. Again, fifty dollars total. Got an Avengers one forty four. Very nice first appearance right there. We got the House of Mystery Annual number one. First Eye Zombie book. I've wanted for a while, but I never really want to shell out the money for it, and uh, it came in a bundle with other stuff, so I figured, why not? It's time to grab it. We got Hazel and Cha-Cha Save Christmas, an Umbrella Academy book. Uh, mainly picked this up for the uh, my food cover. Uh, this is a variant. Very distinct art style right there. Got this Ghost Rider number five from the original Ghost Rider under Marvel. Got a Spawn number eight, but it is a newsstand variant, so that's very cool. And the last book I picked up is Detective Comics 577, a nice newsstand copy. Uh, Criminally undervalued book. I don't know why this McFarlane book is so cheap compared to like the Batman 423, especially because this one predates it, um, and the other two in this run also. So I don't know. It's we always been weird to me that undervalued, but my favorite cover of the Detective Comics ones, and happy to get it. Uh, so yeah, just a short video, short haul. Um, these little shows at Harley's Toys and Comics are, are always nice. There's lots of little vendors, um, not just comics. There's toys and. Uh, different crafts people make and whatnot. Uh, cosplay people show up occasionally. Uh, highly recommend it if you happen to be in the Tucson area to go check it out. And yeah, that's everything. So uh, take care, everyone.